Hey guys, it's John. And Kimmy and Bale. And we're going to be doing the Chapter 4 trial for Danganronpa V3 Part 29. We thought we all needed some extra comfort today. Oh, you can change the difficulty. Oh, that's right. Oh, we see that like every single time. Oh, we do? Yeah, we do. I just keep forgetting. I know, me too. I'm always like, oh, that's so good. Oh, wait, we've done this before. Oh, yeah, I can buy stuff. Um, I'll just buy one thing. Yeah, decrease the delay. That sounds good. Obtain skill. Give it. Someone's cold and cuddly. Oh. Bell, this is very serious. We're going to be starting a class trial, so you better not be too distracted. That's right. We need to be serious and sad. Are you ready to be serious and sad? She's serious and sad all the time. I'm always serious and sad. She's not going to like the voices if we have to do them. <clears throat> now then, let's begin with a basic explanation. Monokuma needs to be This is tiresome. You need more motivation! That's right! I do! I really, really do. Now then, let's start this class trial. Before we start, I just want to ask something since there's not a lot of us left. What happens if the votes result in two first places? Hmm. Huh? You mean like... a tie? It means they're both the blackened. As long as one of them is correct, it's fine. Daddy, are you sure you should make a decision like that so casually? Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Thanks. Since that's answered, I can start enjoying this life or death game now. That's good. Good game. How long are you going to keep saying that? Just ignore Kokichi. The rest of us need to work together to find the truth. We can't die here! Himiko's determined. She is fired up, baby. Oh my! Himiko has become so determined! <laughs> it's, it's like true. you've played this People before. Really do change. Huh? So it's like you've played this before. Yes, that should be common knowledge. I've played this before. Somehow there's still comments like 25 parts in when it's like, I'll be interested to see John's reaction to da da da. And it's like, well, I've already had my reaction. In the dark, alone. But now we get to see your thoughts. We'll yeah. hear your thoughts. Okay, whatever, yeah. Maybe that's what they meant, but it's just funny. But now she's lost what made her so unique. <laughs> Kimmy doesn't like it when I'm unfriendly with you guys. It's just so unnecessary. <laughs> I think it's fun. I'm glad you get a kick out I of it. I think it's unique. Too many YouTubers sit there and kiss their audience's ass, but I, I say it like it is. And they you? like that. <laughs> okay, as long as everyone's happy here. Oh, sorry guys. I love you and I really value your support and I'll never talk to you that way again. Oh, don't hit me. Oh, I really need your views. Oh. Um, we have a trial to play, thank you. Sorry. That's none of your business. Yeah, this just started. We should focus on the class trial. First, we need to clarify Kaito's the culprit! What? Say that to my face! While we were all still logged in, Kaito logged out alone, right? You were able to move freely. Doesn't that mean you could have committed the murder? Don't screw around! There's no way I'm the culprit! Kaito right! Kaito couldn't have killed Mew! How long are you gonna keep saying that? Trusted people can still kill, you know. We already saw that a bunch of times. So many times. Since Kaede. The fact that Kaito was the only one logged out is suspicious. But he's not the culprit. He can't be. Do I have to lie already? Wow. I think I have to lie for Kaito already. Kaito's a camp. Kaito logged out first, by himself. Mew was still logged in, though. That's when you poisoned her, right, Kaito? Kaito culprit? Impossible! Of course it's impossible, because I didn't do it! I mean, we found that bottle of poison, 
on Kokichi's seat, didn't we? The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me. That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? Well, Kaito, any last words? Oh, Himiko's what do you mean last words? I know, right? First, we need to decide if Mew was killed in the real world or the virtual world. That's where the problem lies. Oh, okay. Kaito logged out first by himself. Mew was still logged in, though. That's when he poisoned her. Right, Kaito? Okay. Kaito culprit? Impossible! I guess that's what I'm supposed to rebuke, of actually. It's impossible, because I didn't do it! That's when he poisoned her. Because she wasn't poisoned. But we're not sure that she wasn't poisoned. Kaito logged out. Let's see. Let's just see what happens. That's when he poisoned her. That's wrong. Belle's licking herself. Mew wasn't killed by poison. And the warning on the label proves it. Drinking the poison would result in subconjunctival hemorrhaging. Oh. In other words, your eyes would be bloodshot. Oh, but Mew's body. Her eyes weren't That's bloodshot. Right. Her eyes weren't bloodshot. She wasn't killed by that poison. Hmm. Then what was that poison for? Probably a diversion. The culprit wanted us to think Mew died by poison. Then, what was her real cause of death? Mew's real cause of death? The only one I can think of. Wow, we're already here, huh? <laughs> the events at the chapel? Um. Oh, the loud noise. Loud noise? Is that really the cause of Mew's death? Oh, I don't understand. It's not the cause. Judging from the body, maybe the cause of death wasn't located in the real world. Damn it! Everyone's staring at me. Ugh, they think I'm a fraud. So it's virtual world? Is that an option? Uh. Oh, killing game simulator. Yeah. Yeah. This is it! Mew's cause of death was the killing game simulator itself. In the virtual world, if your avatar takes fatal damage, your real body dies of shock. <laughs> She's got three X's on her face. <laughs> Triple X. Oh boy. She'd love that. That was made clear in the program's text file. Mew received fatal damage in the virtual world and died from that shock. In that case, it's fair to say that the cause of death was actually the simulator. Um, Gonta has question. Where is this virtual world place? What floor is it on? If you don't understand, then don't say anything. Whoa! If Mew was killed in the virtual world, then the next thing we need to figure out is what caused her to incur fatal damage within the virtual world. So her cause of death in the virtual world is the one that matters. Uh, um... Oh, it seems like Gonte is confused. So why don't we review things a bit? Um, so we split into two groups to find the secret of the outside world. The ones who searched the mansion were me, Shuichi, Samugi, Gonta, and... that NPC Kaito. Who you call an NPC, you ASS? And the others who searched the chapel were Keyboy, Maki, Himiko, and the late Mew. How could someone have given her fatal damage in that situation? That's what we gotta think about. Now, let's all work together. <laughs> Aww, little Himiko is all grown up. Too bad your chest hasn't grown up, though. Someday, my chest will grow like crazy! All right. Let's I'm begin comfortable. <laughs> the fatal damage that Mew received in the virtual world. Let's pin that down. That was so upset by you. <laughs> in the virtual world, Mew was fatally injured. 
so let's focus our efforts on that first. Whatever did that to Mew was dropped right next to her avatar. It has to be the hammer! Hmm. Or going to beat her with his bare hands. Are we certain that blunt force was involved? Hmm. I think strangulation is more likely. Strangulation? It's possible she was pushed from a great height. Hmm. Could she have drowned? There was a river. <laughs> we have to determine the specific cause of death. If I think about the condition of Mew's body, that should yield a clue. In the virtual world, Mew was fatally injured. Okay. So let's focus our efforts on that first. Whatever did that to Mew was dropped right next to her avatar. It has to be the hammer! Or going to beat her with his bare hands. Are we certain that blunt force was involved? I think strangulation is more likely. Ah. I agree. No V. Oh. I wanted to V agree. V agree. Very agree. <laughs> Mew's body showed severe trauma and signs of a struggle. Yeah, she looked like she suffered. Very hard to look at. Right. And the virtual world is connected to our five senses. If her body experienced pain, she must have been in pain in the virtual world as well. Knowing that, I believe Maki is correct. Mew was strangled to death. Yeah, definitely. Strangling and poison are the only methods that can make her look like she suffocated. But we already removed the possibility of poison, so it can only be strangulation. Also, when a victim is poisoned, they commonly grab their chest or mouth. But Mew was holding her throat. It's obvious she was trying to protect her windpipe. Oh, the Assassin Master gets really chatty when it comes to corpses. In that case, her exact cause of death is being strangled in the virtual world. But is strangulation even possible in the virtual world? If the avatars were equally strong, it would be difficult to strangle a resisting victim. Yeah, if she was just as strong as them, no way they could have strangled her. Then the culprit would need a tool. There are tons of cases where a weaker person would strangle a stronger person with a rope. Wow, you know a lot about killing, nerd. But was there even a rope in that world? I don't remember seeing one. Then they must have used something else as a rope. Something for a rope, huh? I have an idea of what it might be. I found it during the investigation. So there's a hammer, the wooden mat, and the cell phone next to her, and then the toilet paper at the castle. Would it be the mat? Think about... Think about the rules of the killing game simulator. Nothing can break. So would it be the toilet paper? This is it! Hmm. During the investigation, we found toilet paper outside the mansion. I'm guessing that the toilet paper was used to strangle her. Gonta, no can ignore that! <laughs> Gonta? What you mean, Shuichi? Huh? What's wrong? What wrong? Shuichi goofing off! Not gentlemanly at all! Is it because he's talking about toilet paper? Yeah, well, you'll see. It's no time for nonsense! Oh. We know can use toilet paper! In place of rope! Would tear too easy! I'll cut through your words! I fail. The toilet paper wouldn't tear. Because in a virtual world, objects are unbreakable. Unbreakable? <laughs> You're so dumb, Gonta. 
You didn't even know that? If objects can't break in that world, then toilet paper shouldn't be able to tear. And since it couldn't tear, it could be used as a rope. Gonta not really understand, but... Sorry, Shuichi. Gonta was wrong. It's okay, Gonta. Don't worry about it. Killed by toilet paper. It was a fitting end for her. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> That's so rude. A fitting That's end? Funny. I do not fully understand that logic. He's a robot. <laughs> but if Mew was killed near the chapel, why was the murder weapon by the mansion? Hmm. Maybe the culprit tried to get rid of it to destroy the evidence. If the culprit meant to get rid of the evidence, they did a poor job of it. There was a much better place where they could have destroyed it. If toilet paper was the murder weapon, then what's the deal with the hammer next to her? Perhaps the culprit prepared a backup weapon, just in case. No, the culprit didn't bring the hammer. She did. No? But who else but the culprit would bring a hammer? Wait, we already know who brought that hammer. The person who brought the hammer... Was Mew! That's it! That's it! Mew was the one who brought the hammer. Mew bring hammer? Remember what she told us? Yeah, she did say she deleted any dangerous objects. If that were true, she wouldn't have missed something like a hammer. Meaning that Mew must have left it on purpose. On purpose? But why she do that? Mew brought the hammer for sure, but what did she need it for? We need to make that clear. Oh, you can't dance much with Belle on ya. Well, let's right, assume that Mew sleeping. brought the hammer. What was she planning to do with it? Wait, you're the one Maybe who heard! Use it to break down a wall? <laughs> no. Uses for a hammer. Don't I know? Mew gonna build stuff with hammer! She probably just brought it for self-defense. Or she secretly met up with someone. I agree! Mew was gonna meet up with someone in the virtual world. Mm-hmm. With me. I was supposed to meet up with Mew on the roof of the mansion. What? Is that true? I overheard them talking about it at the chapel. By the way, Mew asked to meet up with me before we went into the virtual world. I totally forgot where we were supposed to meet, so good thing Keyboy spied on us. Wait, so Mew called Kokichi out? If Mew brought the hammer, I wonder what she was planning to do with it. Kokichi's already figured it out. She was planning to... Kill him. Kill Kokichi. That's it! She was trying to kill Kokichi. She was what? Yep, she plotted to meet up with me and then kill me with the hammer. If you want to prove this, you'll need to figure out Mew's plan, okay? Mew's plan, huh? I'm sure if I analyze the clues we found, I can figure something out. All right, let's do it! Psych taxi! You ready? You ready to hit some women? There's, I can't answer that. I literally can't say anything to that. <laughs> you aren't supposed to. Ooh, nice. Ooh, Ooh I got a twofer. You get a twofer. You can do it again. Oh! Twofer. Twofer. Uh oh. Twofer. No trud to Kichi. This is some S rank shit going on here. Ooh. It's like better than A. Who tried to kill Kokichi? Yeah, we just answered this though. Yeah. Oh. I only needed one though. I did that on purpose. Mm-hmm. Try to fake you guys out. Mew! Yeah. Whose face is on the billboard? 
time. It's meals. Yeah, meow. Meow. Shall we call this thinking time? <laughs> Kaito. See, you hit her, but you're giving her a ride. Giving her a lift you're somewhere. You're more just helping her into the car, right? Yeah. No. Oh my god. Yeah. It's like it's trying to spell miscellaneous. Look at you and your mad driving skills. Oh no. Oh, you missed it. Who was Mew? What was Mew trying to kill? When was Mew trying to kill? Where? Where was Mew? I was gonna get there eventually. <laughs> yeah. Who? What? What? How? What? Why? What? Where? Was... What? How? Where? What? I... Where? Why? What? When? Why? <laughs> Thinking time. The rooftop. Oh, the virtual world. Duh. The afterlife. Bam. Good. Do you see that kissy lips? I know. So disturbing. Sorry you're so disturbed. So disturbing. I'm sorry Kokichi. if you're offended. <laughs> oh! You can do it, dude. Does it get harder to steer with people in the car? No. It would be funny if it was. I'm sorry if you're offended. It's okay, <laughs> babe. Girl. Fire through the center. What? Wait, what? When? What? It was a bottle of poison. Why was? Why was a bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat? Mm. What a good question. That is a good question. Why was a bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat? To divert attention. So she had planted that. Seems like it, yeah. It connects! It connects! Well, what's happening in real time when he's doing that? Yeah. <laughs> I think he's seeing it like... to appear as if Kokichi was killed in the real world. Uh... She's gonna bash him in the eyes? Like, it doesn't seem like. Huh? I'm trying to figure out like how hitting someone with a hammer would make it look, look no, like No, 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 the poison. She wanted to make it look like he was poisoned in the real world and the crime didn't take place in the virtual world. I understand that, but I guess she didn't read the label then of how he was going to no, look. Yeah. I, I guess not. Okay, that's what I was getting at. Yeah. You're right. She's an idiot. Stupid idiot. She you. is dumb idiot. shit. <laughs> Dead. My hair looks like a scarf. She placed the poison on my seat to make us think the murder happened in the real world. She did that too? What? Mew was the one who put that poison bottle there? No, that ain't right. Something's definitely weird about that. Yeah, when would she have done that? Oh, Kaito's got a... When could Mew have put the poison there? Gonna if she be did place the, list the poison of logins. without us noticing, then she must have logged out at some point. And then what? Log back in? Kokichi, weren't you in the salon around that time? Hmm. Did you see her log in or log out at all? Nope, I didn't see that at all. If she hadn't logged in or out, then you couldn't have placed the poison. Then who put poison bottle? That seems like what we're supposed to... The only person who logged out early was Kaito. Kaito! Oh, your grave just got ten feet deeper! No, it wasn't me, guys! Oh. If the poison is planted without... It, if the poison is planted evidence, the question is when it was planted. If we determine the when, we might also determine the who! The hell? When could Mew have put the poison I actually there? don't know the answer to this. 
If she did place the poison without us noticing, I think it's then she must have logged out right here. You think so? Thank you, Maki. This applies to Mew as well, not just us. <laughs> Made a mistake. I forgot when could to read Mew the have first put the poison one. there. Sorry. If she did place the poison without us noticing, then she must have logged out at some point. It's not that. <laughs> and then what? She logged back in. Tokichi, weren't you in the salon around that time? Hmm. Did you see her log in or log out at all? Nope, I didn't see that at all. If she hadn't logged in or out, then you couldn't have placed the poison. Yeah, me. That's wrong. I didn't even know. I just took a shot. <laughs> Good job. It was Mew who planted the poison on Kokichi's chair. She had plenty of time to do it. Here, take a look at this. Is this a record of who went in and out? Of oh, this was the last world? one to log in, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. It says that Mew was the last of us to log in. Is two yeah, seconds long enough? It? Two minutes. Oh. Yeah. If she logged in last, she would have had time to move around in the real world after the previous person logged in. That right. She could have placed poison bottle on Kokiji's seat. This was all part of Mew's plan. She tried to kill me in the virtual world, make us think it happened in the real world, then pin the crime on Kaito. Well, that's not my fault. Which is why she manually logged you out. Just for that purpose. We didn't tell him that. So she did that to right? me? We didn't talk about yes, with him, but... I'm positive of that. I wonder how he knows that, because he wasn't in the virtual world with us. Mew used a method only she could use to log Kaito out manually. How did Mew log Kaito out? With the sapphone. This is it! Got it. This is it! It was the cell phone Sorry. found by Mew's avatar. That cell phone worked the same way as the phone in the salon. It logs users in and out. I verified this myself when I spoke Kaito's name into it. Kaito Mamelta. I see. With that cell phone, she could force anyone to log out at any time. But Mew never mentioned the cell phone, right? That's what Shuichi referred to when he mentioned a method only she could use. She kept the cell phone a secret on purpose, so she could use it for the murder. So, she really was planning a murder. And she tried to set me up. Well, I knew that from the start. Then why did you say I was the culprit? Because I wanted to get it through your thick skull. People you trust and defend will ultimately betray you. This is a game of suspicion. Well, I think your ideals should stay the same. I like his odd way of caring about them. Mm hmm Because, like, if he didn't care, he wouldn't try to make sure they understood that. Mm-hmm. Because phonies like you are what make the game more interesting. Don't you agree, Monokuma? Hmm? Do I? I don't know about that. Huh? Oh, wait. What were we talking about? I wonder when Daddy's gonna get his motivation back. Yeah! If Father keeps slacking off, all the work is gonna get forced onto Mommy. Huh? Mommy? My head! I feel like I'm about to remember something, but I can't. What's wrong, Monotaro? Pull yourself together! Anywho, it's a blessing in disguise that Mew died and not me. What you mean? Because she wouldn't have said anything about what really happened in the virtual world. You guys would have had a way harder time finding the culprit, you know? She would have been able to lie about the virtual world settings as much as she wanted. 
and you'd never know that the murder actually took place in the virtual world. So that's why she decided to attempt a murder, because she had total control. Then the reason Mew was so insistent we go into the virtual world was... go there so she could kill us. What a shady person. Well, more I was sad that she was gone, but now I don't know what to think. Well. <laughs> nice! Backstabbed by a trusted friend. Well, yeah, but what Kokichi was saying earlier is that if she had killed him, they never would have solved the crime. Oh, uh, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. So she would be effectively killing all of them. Right. See? That's an ideal fun situation! Now we can start a real class trial! Hey, Kokichi sort of sound like Monokuma. Hmm? Really? I don't sound anything like him. No, you're just like Monokuma. Both of you are cowards. You never speak the truth or show your true face. Wait, coward? You say some interesting things sometimes, Kaito. Smiling, putting on a mask, never saying what you really think. That kind of cowardice is just like Monokuma. Daddy, they're calling you a coward. Aren't you going to do something? Yeah, yeah, I just got to do my signature laugh, right? Hoo, 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 hoo. There, I did it. He's completely lost his drive. Like a one-hit wonder who clings to their former fame. My, my head! Listen up, Kokichi! To hell with this game of suspicion crap! I will never be okay with it! I'm just gonna believe in everyone! Instead of suspecting my friends, I'm gonna find the truth by believing in them! Well, if you think you can win this game like that... Then sure, be my guest. Of course I can. I don't need your permission. How long are you guys going to argue? Let's hurry this up and continue. If we don't find the culprit, then we'll all die, you know that? Duh. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. If we are going to begin searching for the culprit, let's start with Kokichi's story. Huh? My story? You were meeting with Mio, but she ended up as the victim. So it's only natural for us to think you're the killer, right? Here's my answer. I never met up with Mew. Mm -hmm. You didn't? I tried to go to the roof to meet up with her, but the door was locked. But isn't lock picking your specialty? You should have been able to open it easy. I couldn't pick locks with my avatar body. I didn't have the tools for it either. Also, I never went to the roof, not even for the meeting. I remember you and Gonta went off together when we first started looking. But was the door to the roof actually locked? When I was on the roof before logging out, the door wasn't locked. Huh? How should I know? Then who locks the door to the roof? I already told you. How should I know? When I went to the roof, it wasn't locked. So you gotta be lying. What good would it be if I lied? I don't want to die either, you know. Lying would do you a lot of good if you're the culprit. She got you there. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm, I see. I didn't realize that. What kind of response is that? That's suspicious as hell! Wait. There's no point in arguing about that now. The truth will come out eventually. Before we get to that, we need to discover the truth behind Mew's death. Truth? There were mysterious circumstances surrounding her death. We need to make sense of those first. Wow, Shuichi, you know your way around this game. Yes, keep up the hard work. The fate of our lives rests in your hands. So, what is this strange circumstance? 
Kokichi claims it was Mew who chose the meeting place. But I'm wondering how she got from the chapel to the mansion's roof. I see. Mew sent the bridge connecting the mansion and chapel into the river herself. Which doesn't make any sense right? why she would do that. If that's the case, then Mew might not have even gone to the roof. Huh? So she stood me up? It's very rude to break a promise. Hmm. Hmm. It's true. First, we need to determine if Mew is actually there or not. Did she go? Or was she never on the roof at all? Mew is waiting for me to arrive. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. No, Mew should have been at the chapel. Hmm. If you look at where her avatar fell, it's right next to the chapel. How would she have gotten to the mansion? There was no bridge over the river. A bridge would be the only way to get across. Hmm. So her meeting with Kokichi... She stood me up! What do you think? At first glance, it seems as if it's impossible for me to go to the mansion. But there has to be some evidence that shows it was possible. The only bullet I saw was Kokichi in the salon, and I don't think that's it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mew well. was waiting for me to arrive. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. No. Loud noise? What is Samugi's account that she saw her? I think it's that one. Yeah. It's right next to the chapel. Oh, oops. Here it is. Okay. While Samugi was searching for the secret of the outside world, she saw Mew's avatar through the window. Oh. So yeah, we, I, I think, think it's that her. one. How would she have gotten to the okay. mansion? There was no bridge over the river. A bridge would be the only way to get across. Hmm. So we can't dispute that. Okay. Mew's waiting for me to She's arrive. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. I think no. it's the. Uh, Mew should have been at the. Chapel. Yeah. That's wrong! Okay. That's a hard one. <laughs> yeah. Mew must have gone to the mansion. We have a witness. Yeah. When I was searching the dining room, I saw Mew pass by the window. Uh, then why didn't you say so sooner? <laughs> Yeah, right? Sorry. <laughs> I thought I was just mistaken at first. I wish instead of labeling it like Samugi's account, they would name it like... Uh, they would name it? Is that what I said? Mm -hmm. Wow. I wish they would name it something like uh, Mew Outside Window. Or like... Right. Samugi's account. Like, Samugi, where it's like yeah. Mew by Window Samugi's Samugi account. Samugi sees Mew. Or something like that. Yeah. Because when I just see Samugi's account, I'm like... What is it? Yeah. No, I, I don't agree. have to like pause the game and look it up, like look at what it is and the evidence. List. I know, I agree. Yeah. I don't I've never liked that. At the same time though, I like saying Samugi's account. Yeah. <laughs> Since there was no way she could have come to the mansion. So you know. Yeah. It's even. And they have to fit it on a bullet but I guess casing. I wasn't so. mistaken after all. That was definitely Mew. I mean, if they can fit Kokichi in Salon, they can fit Samugi sees Mew. <laughs> That's true. So. Then, how did she get to the mansion from the chapel? It must have been some special method only you knew, like with that cell phone. There's no doubt about that. That's why she dropped the bridge. If a murder occurred when it was impossible to cross the river, she wouldn't be implicated. Mm -hmm. She used a secret method to move from the chapel to the mansion for the murder. She dropped the bridge to make a huge scene just to let everyone know it's no longer there. So, what secret method did she use? This is Monotaro's account. It won't be that account. easy to figure out. Mm. It's called a secret method for a reason. Thanks, Himiko. No worries, guys. As long as we leave it to Shuichi, everything will be A-OK. -okay. What? What are you saying? We can't just rely on Shuichi all the time. This class trial's for all of us. We're here to solve this together. <laughs> you would just slow down, Shuichi. Shut up! 
I don't have time to deal with Kokichi. Right now I need to focus on the case. I'm positive that Mew used some kind of special method to get to the mansion. Okay, I just have to figure out what it was. It's uh, that she was labeled a non-human object. Mm-hmm. So it's... And the wall. The wall added by Mew. Setting on... Kokichi's avatar? Like a hidden bridge. That means Besides that, that if she touched him, he wouldn't be able to move. Or instead uh, of the bridge. wall is the secret method, I think. Mew used some kind of vehicle to go over. Or maybe she teleported with magic. Or she used a warp zone. No, no teleportation. Maybe there's a place no warp she could cross without a bridge. A hidden route that only Mew could use to get across. Shh. I don't I understand agree. how she would have used the wall. I guess I'll explain it a million times now. They'll pound That's it into it, your brain. Kibo? Yeah. There was a hidden route only Mew could use. Hmm? Was there really? Mew modified the program to add a special wall to the world. This confused me too. This part kind of. I got hung up on the this. The wall stretches along the Y axis, but we found two such walls in the virtual world. It's unclear whether Mew added the wall by the mansion or the wall near the chapel. We do know that that wall was set so that only objects could pass Don't through. Don't be naive, Shuichi. Mm -hmm. What is it, Kaito? Kaito, you're digging your Jeez. grave, man. Can you set up a weird wall like that? That is suspicious, but it's got nothing to do with what we were talking about. Let us finish. What do you do with it? Huh. You don't even realize your mistake? Are you losing your edge? Oh well, my sidekick's mistakes are my mistakes. I'll make it right. Hey, Kaito. Kaito. I think he did it. Okay. What we gotta figure out is how Mew got from the chapel to the mansion. So why waste time talking about the impossible? It's pointless. We gotta take a whole new approach here. Now wait just a second. It's not actually impossible at all. But you just said so, didn't you? That wall Mew set up only lets non-human objects go through it. Humans aren't able to pass through. So Mew obviously wouldn't be able to go through that wall. She's not just an object after all. I'll cut through oh, your words. I see what he, I see what he, I see where he was going with that. Yeah. The wall wasn't the only thing that Mew changed. She also changed her avatar settings from human to object. From human to object? Which means the virtual world treated her avatar as an object. She could have passed through a wall that only non-humans could go through. Is that right? Don't get ahead of yourself, Kaito. We need to listen to everything Shuichi says. I already told you. The more you try, the more you cause us trouble. It's so totally lame that your own sidekick is dissing you! Kokichi, enough! I wasn't arguing with him. I was just explaining. I don't care. That doesn't bother me at all. It just means even I make mistakes. Don't worry about it, Shuichi. Okay. My God. <laughs> it's pretty funny seeing Kaito try to act all tough like this. Kokichi, please refrain from making such irrelevant and irrational remarks. So, if Mew messed with the program and made a wall only she could go through, then her secret route was through that wall? That's it, right? Like using a glitch in a game to walk outside the map. I bet Mew had a hidden passage like that in the back of the chapel. But even if she could walk through walls, was there really a hidden passage? Because Mew said... Beyond the wall is the end of the world, literally. Everything ends there. She probably lied. There would be no point in going if there was nothing on the other side. Mew lied. 
Hmm. I wonder what the truth is. There's no way to find out now. That cum-soaked urinal cake was totally lying about there being nothing past the wall. She lived a life of pride, vulgarity, and secrets. Lying would be a piece of cake for her. Okichi, well, you know have to go that far. Stop it! Don't badmouth mommy! M Monotaro? Listen to you, talking about mommy like she was a terrible lying whore. But mommy wasn't lying. There was no hidden root in that virtual world. Uh, oh, there wasn't, huh? Hey! You can't tell them such an important hint! Oh, if you say that hint is important, then I guess it must be true. Oh, shoot! <laughs> ah, jeez. You're lucky you're cute. Was Kokichi saying all that stuff about Mew to get the cubs to reveal something? I guess I should thank him, but I have no idea why he does things sometimes. So now that we know there's no hidden root, why did she manipulate the program? So they if just there's actually debunked nothing past that idea? The wall, then that setting was meaningless. Hmm? Did they just debunk that theory that we had? About what? The hidden route? That she couldn't have passed through the wall? Uh, you'll see. Okay. You wouldn't have done something meaningless. She would have had a plan. Yes. You definitely wanted to be able to go through that wall for a reason. We aren't sure why yet, but once we solve the mystery of the virtual world... Mystery of virtual world? There have been a lot of strange occurrences in the virtual world. If we can determine why, we will also determine what Mew was up to. We'll know why she wanted to pass through the wall. All right, let's clear up those strange occurrences. Yeah, Gonta will help, even though Gonta not know what you're talking about. Oh. Speaking of strange occurrences, I'm just plain worried about that one thing. Remember? That thing that made us notice all the strange occurrences? The events that led us there. Uh... A lot of noise? Yes. That's what got everyone's attention. This is yeah. it! It's true. It's true. true, true you true, mean true. the loud sound that you and I heard in the kitchen? Like, it even sounded like glasses breaking. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You all heard that sound too? Yes, in the mansion's kitchen. But that sound occurred near the chapel. How did you hear it all the way at the mansion? First off, sound can't mm. go past the map loading point. So it went through did the wall. Did that sound really come from the chapel? Not a human. That sound was something hitting the chapel wall. It was real loud. And we definitely heard it. We heard Kibo's voice as well. Uh, oh no! That's what he said. Hmm. You heard my voice too? What? That is pretty strange. Exactly. That has to be some kind of clue to the mystery of the virtual world. Okay, well, let's check the answers later and try to find all the other clues first. There was another mysterious phenomenon in the virtual world, wasn't there? Kokichi talked like he noticed something, pretending not to know. Even Gonta is suspicious of me? I always thought you would be the one to trust me! Sorry. Going to not mean it like that. There's no need to apologize to him. He's probably just lying again. What was the other strange occurrence? Did you see it, Shuichi? Another mysterious phenomenon. Something that shouldn't be possible, like Mew in the mansion or that loud noise. Was it the loading spot? I need to remember everything else that happened in there. What was this mind mine? Ah, Can boy. I play this? Yeah. 
So you're so you just, can just press A on them. Okay. Kimmy's playing. You can see me, and Bella's right here sitting up now. I'm gonna uh, let's see. see if she wants to come down. You wanna come down, Bill? Do you have enough room? I don't know, Daddy. I don't know if I want to. She looks like she wants to go. Let's see here. You wanna get down? You wanna get down? 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 You wanna get down? She's just staring at me like I'm crazy. All right, You're fine. My lady. You get to sit in Kimmy's lap forever. Is it it's still covered, yeah. You got it! Yay! That was fun. I see it. It's a puzzle. It's a fun. It's a good puzzle. Well, no, no, I'm talking. The sign about. that we were using as a bridge was odd to me. Because we talk like that all the time when we're off camera. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know the secret. <laughs> <laughs> we mentioned it before, but Mew dropped the sign in the river. Yeah, how did that happen? Because it passed through the wall. Hmm. We found it later, but there was something unnatural about it. Finding the sign was definitely weird. I'm most confused by how the sign got there. I should remember exactly what happened with that sign. All right, here we go. Another game. Uh, psych taxi Can again. Can I try this? Press A. You hold down A. To go. Yeah. Wow, you're really fast. I missed it. Doing great. Belle, you look really uncomfortable and restless. Would you like to get down? No, oh, no, I missed the last one again. It's okay. You got most of them. She's like pacing. Get down. You want to get down? There you go. Thank Ash. you. Me At crazy. which point was the signboard swept away? Okay. Great. Um, at which point? I don't understand what that means. It means where the river. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to accelerate. Yeah. Okay. That was just a strange way of asking the question, I guess. Oh, they're moving. Well, it never left the river. You know? Yeah. Oh, no. You got this. Oh, you're so encouraging to me. Good job. Thanks. Get on my way. You had an accident. Vicious. I never noticed around the uh, billboards. Yeah. yeah. Even though you said that last time, I was like, what is he talking about? I don't yeah. see any billboards. I know. And then you thought to yourself, that freaking idiot. No, and I was like, stupid I hate moron. that I missed it. Stupid idiot. Thinks there's something on the billboards. That is not what I was doing. Idiot. Where's the end of the river? It splits. So. I'm sorry, what? Transition point, I guess. The end of the river. Think about where you found it. Think, you can slow down. Think about where you found it. Well, I guess it's... I feel sick. You can slow down and decide if you want. Got it. But it splits. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. It splits. That's why it's so weird, because it's flowing off both sides. That's what. Okay, I was just thinking about 
got it wrong. That was close. You're doing very well. Thank you. Where was the signboard found after it was swept away? Oh, thank God. You know this one. It was on the mansion side. On a rock. Mm hmm Going against the current. Well, it was going with the current. It was just held up by a rock. Good thing we won't be quizzed on that. I, I realize that I struggle with... Um... I think there's another one. Oh, there is. Oh, sorry. I thought it was done. Sorry, that was my fault. No, that's good. You I struggle with attention. what? I struggle with the way they phrase the questions sometimes, I've noticed. Mm. It is sometimes very vague. Let's see. Hey! Compared to the... Let's see, which way did the signboard flow? I think. Signboard flow. Compared to the river's current, which way did the signboard flow? It looks like it was floating against the current. Like it was going the wrong way. And we're going fast! Should I not hit? Uh, don't miss. Okay. Hey. I can't believe I killed. I slaughtered. I slaughtered two women in this game. Yeah. That was so gross. You're oh. a misogynist. It appeared as though Bell the sign was carried the against the river's oh. current. We put a blanket on the floor so that she could sleep there. If it's she so to. cold today. Don't say that. People up north heard you. Oh no, here they come. We all saw Mew drop the sign it and watched the river 40 carry degrees. it downstream. <laughs> it dropped 40 degrees in 16 hours here at Fahrenheit. It was about 23, I no. think. No, don't say it. Don't say actual numbers. I know. They're gonna kill You think that's cold! It's negative 80 here! You think that's cold! You think that's cold? It's negative 170 Celsius Listen. here! Listen. I live in Antarctica at a research station. <laughs> We're using satellite internet right now. I'm watching Listen. the video five seconds at a time because it buffers so much. You think that's called? It's okay, sorry. Bale. I sorry, think she sorry, borfed. Bale. Sorry. <laughs> she gets mad when we make noise. Okay, we gotta go. We all saw Mew drop the sign and watch the river carry it downstream. And the river was wide there. The sign should have traveled downriver toward the chapel, correct? It did, but it went through it the wall. It should have hit the wall on the far side of the chapel and stopped there, but that's not where we found it. We found it near the mansion, nestled in some rocks. I was thinking that the river the split like should this. should have been near the chapel, not but we like... found it on mm -hmm. the other side. Hold up, didn't you stay on the chapel side? She probably grabbed the signboard from the chapel wall to cross the river, then left it on the boulders near the mansion so she could get back. Why would she leave the signboard where it could get swept away and leave her stranded? Also, this has nothing to do with walking through the wall, right? We're getting off topic. We're so close to the truth. We just have to connect the how and what. All the mysterious things that happened have to connect with each other somehow. Connect how? A wall only objects can pass through. Sounds that shouldn't be heard. They a all went through the wall. Going against the river current. What? How are they all connected? They all went through the wall! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But Shuichi should know, right? What? We would be in a lot of trouble if you didn't. The only one who can solve this mystery and save us all is you. Connected. 
Do you know Shuichi? Ah, well, what we know so far is that... The unnatural way the sign was carried is possibly related to the wall. Um, wait. <laughs> what clue is related to the unnatural way? Okay, what clue is related? It's... So, wall by Mew? It. He literally just said that. Yeah, he's just going it over there. It might this. have to do with a wall that only objects can pass through. The sign should have stopped at the wall on the other side of the chapel. But if that wall happened to be the one that Mew set to allow objects through... I see. It's a wall only non-humans can pass through. Like a signboard. That means the signboard can pass through the wall, right? Even if it could pass through the chapel wall, how did it end up by the mansion? If the map... The only way it could do that is if the wall was a warp zone. But it's not, right? No warp zones! They're the same wall! <laughs> That's right. That's the real issue here. How could the signboard pass through the wall but end up on the mansion's side? What would explain that? Leave it to me, Shuichi. I... Your partner will give you hints in times of trouble. What? This is the virtual world. We should throw away all of our common sense, okay? Huh? The hell does that even mean? Kokichi might be onto something there. We need to forget about what we know and just think about it. How the signboard, how the signboard, pass through the wall downstream and end up upstream? Putting common sense aside and focusing on the flow of the river. Yeah. That's it. It's the same wall. <laughs> I know. What if both ends of the river were connected? Huh? Both ends of river connected? Exactly. To put it another way, the river isn't cut off at the wall near the chapel. It's all part of one big loop. The upstream part of the river is connected to it. What? What are you talking about? Both ends of the river can't... Again, throw out all common sense from your head. We're talking about the virtual world. Then what about the wall? There was only one wall that could be passed through. Right. Even if the river's connected and it goes through the chapel wall, it wouldn't have been able to go through the mansion wall, too. Uh. Oh my god. You can do it, Wait, crew! In that case... I got it! I know why Mew only set up one wall. He finally got there. Yep. What are you talking about now? The reason she only set up one wall is because the chapel and the mansion walls... Are the same wall! That's it! The walls by the chapel in the mansion aren't separate. They're the same wall. The same wall? It's not just the river. The walls themselves are connected. Don't think of it as two separate walls, but a single wall parallel to the y-axis. That single wall divides the entire virtual world. Hey, look. Oh my god! The idea is, you pass through the wall by the chapel, and come out by the mansion. I hope they break the <laughs> map in half. Everything is starting to connect. Literally! See, didn't I tell you? Everything is connected. Damn it, Kokichi! Just tell us! It's okay. More importantly, this is the final stretch! If both the river and wall are connected, then you can find the secret. Shuichi, you already know the secret behind the virtual world, right? The secret, huh? Yes, I suppose we should clear that up. We need to solve the mystery of the virtual world! The hangman's gambit! Yeah. Oh my god, okay. Uh... Um... Oh wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. So wait. Oh no, it's not L. Sorry. Dumb. 
I, I know that world. was a W. World. Oh yeah, world. World. <laughs> world. What? Form? World. Uh. Lore. World lo loading? Lo Is there an A? World loop. World loops. It's a, it's a weird one. So this was going to help yes, them that's win it. the secret the of the outside world. world. Is a loop. No, this isn't the secret of the outside world. This is the secret of the virtual world. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, two different okay. things. This okay, is for okay. the trial. This is not. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm with you now. Ooh. Just like in old games, right? Like, for example, when a character goes off the left side of the screen and reappears on the right. Are they yes, going to do it? Exactly. The edges of the virtual world are linked together in a continuous loop. Please show us. It'll be so satisfying. Oh. The virtual world loops? No. Nope. What in the world? If that's true, it would explain the way the signboard was swept away. Oh my god. Calm down. I know. It vanished into the wall downstream of the river, came out of that same wall upstream. Are you going to show it? Are you going to do it? and floated with the currents until it got caught on the rocks. What was the world like before Mew added the wall? You could just Actually, loop. there wasn't a wall on the y-axis at all, and the x-axis was set to loop. Are you serious? Even if it is a computer program, isn't that too crazy? A looping world. That's more extraordinary than even magic. But at least it's not a boring answer. It also explains all the things that happen. Huh? It doesn't explain everything, does it? Because we still don't know why we heard that one sound or Kibo's voice. Yeah, sound doesn't go past the nap loading point. Oh my oh, god. god. If we know that the world is a loop, we can explain that as well. Okay, calm what? down. Really? Calm down. This is where the trials frustrate me so much. Yes. If like only they could be as smart as I. Where the loop starts. It's just like 15 minutes of starts. gameplay could be wrapped up in. Oh, that means the sounds loops it too. Look at the walls next to the mansion and Well, but they've got it. They've got it. They've got to go through it. Okay. Every possibility, though. Okay. Not necessarily. If we heard a noise at the chapel from inside the mansion, then the loop. Wait, what? Where's the looping point? Oh. Isn't it this? There! Yeah. The Are they gonna do it? The point was where the virtual world looped. They gotta show it. It'll be so satisfying. Please do it. We thought the loading point was in the middle of the map. <gasps> there it is! Ah! There it the is! The loading point was actually at the edges. Doesn't that look so nice? It does. Too bad it's just like slightly off. <laughs> I know. Oh well. So the wall Mew created wasn't at the edges of the world, but rather her wall was at the center of the world. I see. So the mansion and chapel were near each other with a wall between them. And any sounds emitted near the chapel would also reach the mansion. The wall only allows non-humans to pass through. So sound should be able to pass through easily. That's right. That's how the virtual world works. Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> Impressive, Shuichi. For you to get this far. Yes. Yes. You are useful indeed. Hmm. For you to get this far. What are you? Some villain pulling the strings? Nope. Mew pulled the strings here, not me. Remember? Mew also set this trap. It all began when Mew showed us the map. Because of the map, 
we mistakenly thought the loading point was at the center, which in turn made the mansion and chapel seem farther away from each other. But the structure of the world wasn't actually like that. Mm -hmm. There was a wall along the y-axis, and the x-axis came around in a loop. By putting that wall in the center of that world, she cut off the loop. So ever since Mew showed us that map, we were caught in her trap. But we solved this mystery thanks to Shuichi. All hail our savior! Yeah, if Shuichi wasn't here, then we never would have solved this mystery. That's right. Good work, Shuichi. Thanks, Shuichi. You saved us. Hmm. Uh, you're welcome. Just because we found out the virtual world secret doesn't mean we can take it easy yet. Actually... This culprit hunt just got to the exciting part. Even if we know all the tricks, it's pretty meaningless if we don't find the culprit. That's how a class trial works, after all! Kokichi talking like Monokuma again. No matter what you say, I'm not gonna believe your lies. I'm gonna believe in everyone! That's how I'm gonna reach the truth! <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens next. Me? How else are you supposed to do it in a sentence, though? <laughs> it just sounded funny. What is Kokichi's plan here? She's definitely prodding at Kaito on purpose. Well, there's no time for distractions like him. What we have to do is find the culprit who killed Mew. It doesn't matter how many little mysteries we solve if we can't find the culprit. It would all be for nothing. But I still don't know for sure who it could be. Who used Mew's own plan against her to kill her? Who killed Mew? Who glitched? Hmm. I want to know who glitched. I guess we'll find out in the next video. No! We want the answer now. Well, you guys will find out tomorrow. Later. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow in part 30. Four hours. So yeah, we'll see you guys then for the second half of Clash Trial 4. Oh my god. We're through the worst of it. Yeah. It gets more the, exciting after this, yeah? We're through the fun house section, yes. if you will. The rest of it is like getting down to the nitty gritty. I am so. so excited. And you just can't hide it. <laughs> I really can't. I think it's Kaito. I say that Third every, time's the charm, I huh? know, right? <laughs> it's not a complete V3 trial if I don't blame Kaito at least at one point. What if Kaito lives till the end? Every trial you're going to be like, it's Kaito. It's Kaito. <laughs> at this point, I just have it to say to it. It has to be Kaito this time. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I want him to kill somebody so bad? Kaito's the mastermind. I want him to like, well, because he's Kaito's so freaking positive. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's the one pulling Monokuma strings. Hmm. We'll see. He's the hand up the butt. Puppet. Well, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Think critically.